So hello, this would be our discussion for gross profit variation analysis, which is also part of the third module for management accounting. So the difference in gross profit variation analysis with the other financial statement analysis is in here, we try to determine the reason behind the change in gross profit that which might be brought about by sales price, the cost, or the quantity sold for the period. So what are the costs of gross profit variation as mentioned? Change in volume or quantity sold. So we might have sold more or less for this year as compared to last year. Um, what is the importance of knowing that? We get to understand the, the source of the change in profit in the company because if you will only look at the gross profit which has increased or decreased for the current year, we might be wondering, did we sell more or did we just increase our prices? Change in selling price, change in pur purchasing price of products sold. This may, may also cause an increase or decrease in gross profit. So we might want to consider the, the, the cost of the products that we sell in determining our move for the for the product itself and if we are selling more than one product sales mix is also a factor there so the other factors included here like purchasing and merchandising policies marks up markups and markdowns and credit extension policies ultimately causes uh, ultimately causes the changes which are initially mentioned like volume selling price and cost of the product sold like for example markups and markdowns may cause a change in uh, selling price of the product because if you if you mark down an item it will decrease the selling price also that would lead to a change in quantity of the product sold also uh, credit extension policies might uh, reach more customers and purchasing and merchandising policies as to as to minimum or maximum units that a uh, uh, that a consumer may purchase from the product that should also be considered so when we analyze gross profit variation when we only have one product we consider the quantity factor which is the change in gross profit brought about by the change in units sold price factor or selling price factor which is the factor that is brought about by the change in selling price and cost factor which is the change in gross profit brought about by the change of the cost of the units sold. So if we have two or more products, we also consider the sales mix or the combination of the products being sold as a factor. Now, we answer this problem. So the gross profit of M Corporation for 2019 and 2020 are as follows. So let's analyze the gross profit variation of the company according to quantity, sales price, and cost factor. So I have already transferred the given in this uh, Excel file. So if you would like to pause it for a while and um, answer on your own before getting the answer in this presentation. So now we will answer this problem. Before answering this problem, we need to consider first the uh, selling price per unit and the cost per unit of the items. So the selling price is uh, for 2019, 8 million divided by the unit sold of 50,000, which is 160. We will also do the same thing for 2020 and for the cost per unit. We have 6 million divided by the 50,000 units sold. And we will do that as well for 2020. In using the statement approach in analyzing the gross profit variation, we consider three factors, the quantity, the sales price, and the cost factor. So for the quantity factor, what we will do is we get the current year sales at prior year 
prices. So, how much would be that? Would that be? I mean, so we have the current year sales of 48,000 multiplied by the prior year price of 160,000. And then we will get the prior year sales of, which is already given, 8 million. So we would have the change in in change in sales of how much so there is a decrease of 320,000 and we will only consider the gross profit here so we will multiply this by the gross profit rate of how much for the prior year which is 160 minus 120 divided by the selling price of 160 we have 25 percent so we have our quantity factor at 320,000 multiplied by 25 percent negative 80,000 so there is a decrease in 80,000 on the gross profit brought about by the change in quantity now we move further to the price factor which is the selling price of the product what we will do here is we will get the current year sales of how much 12 million compared to current year sales at prior year prices which we already have solved 7,680,000 so we will get the difference so 4 million uh, there should have been a 4 million 320,000 increase in sales as a result of the increase in price but we will we will take note here that there is a decrease of 800,000 in the gross profit so we are not yet done in our analysis we still have the cost factor so in here, what we will do is we will also get the current year cost of goods sold, which is how much? 10,800,000 less the current year COGS at prior year prices. So how will we get that? We have the unit sold last year multiplied by... A, I mean the unit sold this year multiplied by the cost per unit last year. So we will compute here 10,800,000 minus 5,760,000. 5, we will get a cost factor of 5,040,000. So it means there is an increasing cost of 5,040,000. And if we will consider that, it means there is a decrease in gross profit of uh, cost by the uh, increasing cost of 5,040,000. So now, if we will consider the change in gross profit here, we will, we will uh, add the quantity factor, and then add with the price factor and deduct the cost factor. So we will get a change in gross profit of 800,000 which is actually consistent with the change in gross profit that we have for the given items.